I think we're going live. It says we're live. There we go. Dope. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> was that, was that? Oh, look at that. Really, uh, really doing a thing. Um, Happy it? Thursday. Indeed. I think we're going live. Happy almost Friday. It says we're live. Let's see if this works. There we go. Dope. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Nailed it. It did come up. All right. It worked. Hooray. Hi, Beth. Hey, Beth. Welcome. Okay, cool. I can make this go away because it will be behind. We and be then... live. Oh, we be. We be live. That's what we be doing. <laughs> hey, Sandra. We be liven. And Becky. Hello. Hello. Sorry. To reach across, had to make you a little brighter. Do the, the, don't do the reach around. Let's reach across. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There's a cat down here that knows we want, she wants food. Oh, you just got cat butt there. <laughs> <I did. laughs> Good timing. You have to get your own snack so you don't get jelly. Yes. <laughs> get your snack. It's snack time for everybody. Get them snacks. David, you miss nothing besides me saying hello. Yep. Indeed. So there's no double decker. I don't. Is a double decker Ooh. a food? Because it's a single decker box. I know what it. I mean, are we oh. talking about buses or? Oh, I was thinking. Whisper, whisper. I was thinking of something else completely. Oh, an upper decker. Yes. I was thinking <laughs> don't of. Google that. Don't. No. Uh, it is a land of many Harrys. I mean, that's a bad <laughs> timing because you know Harry mm. Potter. You know. It's not Harry's fault. It was made by it. nobody. It was it right. was written by itself. Popped out of uh, thin air. No, yep. uh, no objectionable uh, turf material at all. All right. Hey, Sam. Oh, who we got here? Uh, all right. Cool. Good. I thought I saw more names. Uh, so here... David saw the cat, but uh oh. Then yeah, you haven't missed. Much. No. <laughs> yeah, there are some things you might have wished you have missed. All right. Welcome to the UK. The United Kingdom. Dun, 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 Vote on an upcoming dun, box. You should do dun, that. Dun, dun, dun. So, do you guys want to see foods no. from Netherlands, Italy, or Germany? What would you pick? Well, we'll let them think about that. We'll do that afterwards. I have opinions. You have opinions? Okay. They might be wrong. All right. So, as yeah. usual, uh, Universal Yums. Oh. The, I just glanced at that, and that is going to be... That's, an, that's a oh, choice yeah. they made. What? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Lamb and mint what? chips? You don't got to you don't gotta say those words Sorry. so people know what's coming. Well... Have ginger snaps ready for snacks. I love ginger snaps. I like ginger snaps, oh, here's, too. We'll do this side. So this is universalyums.com. Not, not a affiliate, sponsor. Not a sponsor. Nope. nope. Just uh, we buy this box monthly, and it's fun. It's... <laughs> The not fun part is that I always get a shipping notification, and then it's like two weeks before it arrives. Oh, at least. I'm like, oh, yay, it's coming. We're going to yeah. be able to do that. It and sits in Greensboro for like a week every time. Every so. single time. Snacks from Amsterdam makes me think edibles. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I don't think it's that kind of box, but, you know. If it is, that'd be okay, probably. All right. Um, so we have uh, uh, snacks here from the UK. We've so done... we got things from um, Huntley, Scotland. For Katie. You Northern Ireland and Belfast. Hey, let go. Belfast. I know. Let go of me. <laughs> we got uh, some from Edinburgh, from Skeeton, which I guess that's... I'm not sure about Skeeton, if it's Ireland, if it's England. We'll no. see. Yeah, it looks like... We it. got a Wales and Cardiff, and we have London and Skeeton, which I have no idea. So yeah. if, do we have any... UK folks in here today. I know we have a few people that sometimes stop in, but I'm not sure yep. no uh, if idea. anyone here right now is from the UK. Yeah, so I had the idea that we should do it tonight because I'm like, oh, it's the UK. We should do it when the UK folks can show up. And she's like, Mike, they're five hours ahead of us. And I realized <laughs> that I had mixed up the time zones of Australia and the UK. That's Because I'm bad at far. time. And so uh, we did it a little bit earlier. Yep. Either that or it was going to be like early tomorrow morning, but I was like, I want to get mm. up early tomorrow. Nobody wants to get up early tomorrow. Okay, so you want to you want to start with the one you've already objected to? Because I kind of do. Yeah, I mean, we can do that <laughs> okay. one. I'm not... So, first up is... You want to read it? Yeah, you can read it this time. I will model things. Okay. Mint and lamb flavor. So growing up, I used to, mom used to make, uh, we'd have lamb sometimes and it always came with like this mint jelly. Like that was always a thing mm -hmm. with lamb. So this seems like it's going to be totally fine. Okay. 
These are Welsh potato crisps, lamb, and mint. Scraggs. Looking for lamb? You can't go wrong in Wales. The 11 million sheep outnumber humans three to one and account for 80% of Welsh agriculture. Wow. But within Wales, there's no better place for lamb than the quaint town of Brecon, located just below a mountain range where thousands of sheep are raised. The town is known for super soft wool products and delicious lamb dishes, including the mint season lamb or roast lamb that inspired these crisps. The best part, no actual lambs went into making them. Unbelievable. No. <laughs> uh, uh, well, now that I know there's no lamb in them, again, I just don't want... Eh, yeah. It's lamb hey, seasoning. Claire. And Marco... Sorry, and Carl, I missed a few. So we got uh, potatoes, high oleic sunflower oil, lamb and mint seasoning, 7% of it. Um, what kind of mint is it? Can you mint. eat this? Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mint and uh, yeah, peppermint are usually different things, but okay. whatever. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Best before 27 March 2021. Scraps, do you want to try these chips? <laughs> Variety. Taurus. I'm not, I'm not a Taurus. Oh. You're not a Taurus either. It's made with fresh Tauruses. Something, something, sheep chips. Yes. Fake meat was. flavoring? Yep. Well, no, because it's... it says the um, uh, the lamb and meat, mint seasoning is rice flour, yeast extract powder, sh powder sugar, and whey powder. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. We have nested uh, parentheses. Salt, natural flavorings. Yeah, so the natural flavorings have got to be fake lamb flavor. Oh, this actually smells good. Does it? Yeah, here you go. Have a chip. It's so weird. It's weird for a chip. I'm going to get a medium-sized one. So oh. we got the chip. It's a nice it's thick a, chip, too. It's a too. thick like it's a, chip. It's not breaking apart. It's that's like a, a, it's like a natural cut. You can see yeah. some peel around the edge. Yeah. Which Just is nice. Can. I drink it. All right. And take it. Mm. It tastes just like lamb with a little bit of mint. Like, it's weird how much they nailed that for me. Not a fan. Yeah. The mint doesn't come in immediately, but after a second, mm. and then it goes away a little bit again. Mine's like staying like right at the top of my palate, mm. like just mint. However, you want another one just to make sure? I, don't, I'll, I will. I don't like it. Okay. I don't. Also, these taste more. They're not greasy at all. Mm -mm. These are that. definitely more. They're baked. They're baked. Yeah. yeah. Scraggles, do you like a little chip? Okay. Come here. Come here. There's nothing in here that'll hurt Scraggles. Hmm. This is definitely. This you one tastes this? different. Oh, she is not interested in that She's at all. She's a smart dog. That, yeah. that piece was very different than the first one that I had. Yeah. Like the texture was crunchier. I think it was just a little thicker. Mm. Yeah. I'd eat these for sure. These are really good. Yeah. Those are from my... I mean, I don't mm -hmm. I don't hate them, but I'm not going to sit there and eat a bag of them. Fair. Now, if I get a massive migraine later, I will know it was peppermint. Well, that is peppermint. Yeah. That's true. But it doesn't say it was. Mm -mm. I don't think this it was really... mint. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be enough mint in there to bother me at all. I ain't worried about it. It includes herbs, including mint. Anyway. All right, good. Uh, next, we're going to do another crisp. We can do another crisp. Potato crisp. These are Mackies of Scotland honey and mustard flavor. Oh, I see what's in here. This is something that we've talked about on here that you've never had, but it's sort of similar. Okay. Okay. Mackies honey mustard potato crisps. Uh, so many world-changing innovations have come from the UK. Harry Potter, Hey Jude, Newton's Laws of Gravity. But to us, one novel relation, uh, revelation tops them all. Crisps, or as we call them on the other side of the pond, potato chips. <laughs> An 1817 cookbook by Englishman William Kitchener's, yeah, the Cooked Oracle, contained the first known potato chip recipe in the world. As you might expect, the book was a bestseller. Soon potato chips changed the world's cuisine. Well, forever. Which brings us to these honey mustard crisps. Each one is coated with a notoriously strong spiciness of English mustard and a touch of sweet honey for the perfect way to celebrate the origins of the potato chip and to kick off our um, UK adventure. 
Mackey's Thick Cut Potato Crisps are made in Perthshire, Perthshire Scotland by our award-winning family business, Mackey's at Taypack. We use the best varieties of crisping potatoes and carefully selected seasonings, and we never add any artificial colors or flavorings. Flavorings? Our unique uh, gentle cooking method ensures a great crunch, fresh potato taste, and dry texture. That's not the right way. You go this way. Go this way. Come on. Jump up. Yeah, you want to. Not this way. This way. This way. Come on. Come on. Over here. Come on. As we try to teach Scraggles how to get on a chair. Come here. Come on. Not that way. This way. What are you doing, you silly goose? Here. <laughs> Sh sorry. Come this side. She's Scott's... trying to come up in underneath. Underneath the armrest? Yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Hi. Now you're going to stay on the floor, I guess. Uh, Matt Scott's chips crisps would be infused with a with Bucky. I don't know what Bucky is. Buckwheat? Mm mm. Oh. I mean, I do like buckwheat. It's good. I like honey mustard too. Come here. Mm. That's the wrong way, Scraggles. It's a place. All right. Oh okay. Iron, oh, iron brew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. I'm sure they have. Here's a crisp. Ooh. These are good looking crisps. They got good potato chips over there. This is an intense, thick chip here. No breaking. Well, not easily, at least. This one broke, but not too bad. Dink. It did have to come from Bucky. Oh, Buckfast tonic wine. Oh, those are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you haven't finished yours yet. <laughs> So what do you think? It is so strong in the beginning. I knew as soon as I bit into this that Audrey wasn't gonna like it. Hey, Jack man, welcome. Mackey's of Scotland honey and mustard crisps. Yeah, this is way horseradishy. Yeah, they went hard on the horseradish part of mustard on this for you. Neither of these chips are for me. The other one was uh, this one, which is Taylor's Welsh potato crisps, lamb and mint. Mm -mm. So far, they are I mean, batting. What's a really good batting average? A thousand. Well, yeah, they're batting a thousand right now. Batting a thousand for, for Mike right now. I mm -hmm. mean, again, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, "Ugh, I hate this." Yeah. But yeah, you know, just not, not my jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not tried them. Looks like they make a haggis crisp. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Well. Two chips up, two chips down. I'm into it. Now the third one in there that I see, that's where it's going to be more my jam right there. You've never had something like that, so I'm curious what Which you one? think. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't had those. Um, probably deep fried. Well, well, I mean, they're potato chips, so likely. I'm pretty sure these like but these definitely them... have a baked sort of situation mm -hmm. going on. but Neither are, Neither are greasy. greasy at all. No, like, yeah. American potato chips are just g greasy. Like, yeah. Oh, you can see on the inside of the bag a little bit of like shiny there grease is. action on these, there but is. they but aren't. It doesn't translate to the chips, really. I mean, my finger's like a little bit shiny where I was touching it, but just a... compared to a put that against chip, like some ruffles yeah. or lays or something, forget about it. Oh, lays are super greasy, yeah. Mm. Oh, Buckfast, yeah, yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. English mustard is rancid. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Whole Foods carries Marmite now, so yummy. Not as good as Vegemite. Oh, you're starting fights there, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm more of a Marmite. Hoping for something Parma Violet flavored? I don't know. Uh, what do you want to do next? You want to do keep with the I mean, fried we're stuff? Gonna, we can keep with the fried So we can do savory and then sweet. All right. I'm, exci I'm excited about these. Here we've got Johnny's Pickled Onion Rings crying out with flavor. Mike's never had Funyuns. We've talked mm. about how he's never had Funyuns. I'm thinking that this is going to be their version of a Funyun. So I'm excited. I, yeah. I like, I haven't had them in ye so many years. But I, growing up, liked Funyuns. I think it's interesting how they put like a different nutritional thing on the back I of I think it's them. because there's, they use different, um. Different metrics? Yeah. Hmm. It makes it easier without you having to actually yeah. translate. Okay. Pickled onion potato rings. So you're sitting at a bar enjoying your Buck's Fizz, and the bartender sits down a snack. What do you think it is? Peanuts? Nope. Fries? Nah. Onion rings? 
close, but no. It's a jar of pickled onions. Munching these miniature malt vinegar marinated onions straight out of the jar is a timeless tradition in UK pubs. Dig into these addictive pickled onion inspired crisps to experience the intensely tangy tradition for yourself. Onions and corn nuts. I like semi controversial snacks. They're only controversial to me. So, yeah. and, what makes me hesitate the, a little bit is the malted vinegar. Yeah. Like, I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm willing to try. And remember the, the boy boing? Boy boing. They, they oh, turned I, you I into. I wrecked that whole bag of boy boing. And there were so many boy boings in that bag, too. <laughs> you. I got in there. Ooh. <laughs> They went, they, they're not messing around when they talk about vinegar. This, like, you open this up and it just smells like, like I put my face in there way too hard. It's... <laughs> Had not seen pickled onions in a pub in over 30 years. <laughs> well, look. And these are much smaller than the Funyuns that I remember. Well, everything's bigger in America. That's true. All right. I'm ready for this. You ready? Yeah. I like it. That's horrible. <coughs> nope. No, nope, I'm out. So? Mm. No, that's very bad. That's all the flavors I don't want. So we had pizza the other day. Oh, we made pizza at home. And you know how when it first comes, you it's so good when it first comes in the oven and you take that first bite and the sauce is so hot yeah. and then it burns the roof of your mouth? That vinegar went straight onto my burn and just burned it. Wow, you must have really burnt yourself. Yeah. So no, it that's... hurt. I do not like that at all. <laughs> it's a. St I like vinegar more oh. than he does. No, I hate this vinegar. This is. This is strong. I'm gonna give it another go. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and get on the edges so it's not burning the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up with a clothespin so I don't have to smell that vinegar anymore. <laughs> it's not my broth. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. Hey, let me give you a. A lamb and no. <laughs> a lamb and mint. No. Mmm. Mmm. I don't. You don't like any of these either? It's too. They just needed to go. It's so much vinegar. Bit. Yeah. You know. Sandra, you say you like salt and vinegar chips. This is. Uh, this is like if you like open up a, a thing of vinegar and just drink some vinegar. And then somehow baked it out, but the flavor's still there. Yeah, what do you think of the actual, like, puffy thing that they've put the vinegar on? Oh, I mean, that's what, like, a Funyun sort of texture is, so that's fine. I'm I might be into a, I might be into a Funyun then. Yeah. We should get some Funyuns. I'll try some of those. It's fun. Maybe we'll have that on the stream tomorrow. Mike tries a Funyun. Let's go get well, Funyuns. I don't want to go anywhere. We need there. to go to the... So, we live right down the road from a gas station. We My don't... We try priceless. not to leave anywhere. We don't, but... Yeah. We can go down the street. There's one other thing that is sort of a gas station-y thing that Mike's never tried. So let's try and get two things that I liked growing up that I have not eaten in a long time that they probably would have there. One will be a surprise, the other will be a Funyun. Okay, sure. Yeah, Mike definitely had a um, interesting face. More than mine of not liking things have been like, hmm. And you were like, like that. That's terrible. Yeah. yeah. No, that's bad. I don't want that again. So now we have sweet things, I think. Oh, mostly. yeah, pretty much. Um, this is probably not See, that sweet. See, these are all this. the things that we were saying. You got, oh, no, they ruined it. No! <laughs> they got this one, too. All right. That's better. Okay. So let's start out with this one. This is Dean's Light and Crumbly Shortbreads. Is it sort of like a digestive? I hope so. It's a shortbread cookie, but I wanted a digestive biscuit. Everybody says, I don't like salt and vinegar, too chemical. Those pickled onion rings remind me of Monster Munch. <laughs> Chris targeted kids in the 1980s. Those were foul. I mean, Chris, are okay if you're in the mood for something cheap and nasty, but pickled onion ones, nope, no thank you. Uh, next snack box brought to you from the faraway exotic land of the gas station. <laughs> the well, Hula Hoops, best crisps out there. No, I haven't tried those. There's for sure. probably a lot more things at the gas station. We'll give a quick I've tried a lot of get things. in and out of there as fast as possible, but we'll get a couple things right. that Mike's not had. Okay. Okay. Dean Shortbread. This yum story takes us to rural Huntley, Scotland. It begins as many Scottish tales begin with bagpipes. Back in 1975, Bill and Helen Dean wanted to raise money for the Huntley uh, Pipe Band, of which Dean was a drummer. 
and they could think of no better way than selling Helen's super crumbly, extra buttery shortbread. Fast forward to today, and the Deans of Huntley are a household name all across Scotland, but for baked goods, not bagpipes. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look, I I like a shortbread. Yep. I'm hoping it's not like the dust ones from... I know, it, says, was it? it does say crumbly. The Philippines? Yes, yeah, so if it's worth it to buy the Lamy CP1 Rollerball. And the answer is, I don't know. I've never I've never tried one of those. Munchos. No, I oh, I munchos. Those. Are those the ones that are the combination of all kinds of things? Oh, could be. I think it might be. And they're different flavorings of it. Have a cookie? A you whole have, cookie? You want to have half a cookie? I mean, it's a cookie. How many cookies are in there? Two. Ah, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Oh. Dink. Hmm. Yeah, that rollerball looks good for 35 bucks. Seems fine. What do you think? I like it. I mean, I'm a fan of shortbread in general. Me too. Me too. How do you feel about shortbread? It's not too sweet. I didn't give you one of those uh, onion ones. I don't think you would like the it. The thing in the U.S. that if they would have that here, it's going to be much sweeter. Mm -hmm. So this no, is they're like my... puffed potato chips. He says not. Hmm. Mm. Google it. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I had those when I was growing up too, and I can. I've not thought about them in years. They're sort of like her. Yep. I had those many times. It's been a long time though. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, not familiar. I don't feel like you've ever seen those before. Well, we'll look for those too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think this is a perfectly good shortbread. Yeah. I think it would go nicely with a coffee or a tea. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It would. I'm into it. Good. Yeah. Totally good. Melt in the mouth, baked by hand. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly good. Yeah, no, it's just munchos. Yeah, I like Googled it and it came up. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I actually don't have a thing for that yet on my new deal here. Let's see. Oh, this Firefox. Uh, one sec. URL. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh oh. Delete. Um, Hello, Philadelphia Piper. Display capture. If you missed anything, don't worry. You missed some things that both of us didn't like, so you might want to start over when he'll post this after we're done. Well, yeah, it'll go up again. No. It'll go up right after. You can't chat, but you can see the priceless faces of us <laughs> trying things we do not really care for that much. Yeah, right, right. Not hate, yeah. but just not. Well, Mike really seemed like he hated that. I did hate that one. That yeah. was terrible. Yeah, so those are munchos. Nope, not familiar. I am... Right. But we grew up in very different places, so... Yeah, totally different ends of the country. Yeah. All right, hello, hello, lady. Oh, yeah, hey, what's up? All right, um, <laughs> you want to do who? This one or you. this one? Let's do the one you're yeah, not going to like. Yeah, So this one, I love toffee. But this one is banana toffee. I hate banana. I know I'm weird. Um, You might associate bagpipes with yummy, Scotland. Right, it says yummy right here, though. So, True. but do you associate bananas with England? Nope. You're about to. <laughs> Centuries ago, a Jamaican banana known as Big Mike <laughs> used to be eaten worldwide, but in 1890, banana disease destroyed all of them. Luckily, in Derbyshire, England, a du local duke named William Clavendish cultivated a new disease resistant banana, which we still eat to this day. If that's not enough to get the Banana Britain Association to stick, then this decadent chewy toffee ought to do the trick. You're supposed to whack, then unwrap, and enjoy, it says. It says whack. I think it's what the... There you go. Oh. Perfect. I whacked it good. Just good ingredients. I almost bought some of that from your Swedish friend, but you had made too many choices already. Oh. All right. Munches always felt like the same texture as Funyuns, just in a different shape. You know, the thing they kind of look like to me mm -hmm. are the... Um, was it like the Fridays had like the potato, they like have potato, the potato skins? Yeah, they potato have skins. No. Yeah. Is I've never tried like those because I don't like bacon. Oh. Okay. 
I'm surprised that it like sh bit. turned into shards like that. Like it, yeah. It looked like it was gonna be like one big chewy thing, but then you whack it and it totally like breaks into shards. Dink. Hmm. What do you think? Too much banana? Tastes like it's the texture and taste of a banana Laffy Taffy. I'm not a fan. Mm. I think it's better than a Laffy Taffy because it's not as sweet. It's better. It's not as hard. It's better. Yeah. But it tastes that sort of mm. idea. Again, a thing I like that you don't. Mm. So when we have Laffy Taffy, I get the banana ones. And we have Runts, I get the banana ones. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like eating a banana because I think the texture is gross. This but I like is, the flavor. This is a lot better. It has that creaminess that comes with the toffee. So it makes it a little bit more subtle. But <laughs> yeah. This is a you thing because mm. I'm... He said, traditional with British toffee to break it into bits. You used to be able to get toffee hammers. <laughs> That's a very huh. specialized hammer. That's awesome. Yeah, no, this is good. I enjoy this. I can see why you wouldn't, but I mean, if yeah. you like banana flavor at all, I think it's so, perfectly good. It's nice and soft, If you too. think this tastes artificial, oh, the <laughs> artificialness in the U.S. is by far stronger because this is, this is pretty good. I mean, see, it stretches like this, yeah. but it also breaks, breaks. into shards, which it's is... really interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Meat. I like it. All right, you'll probably like this one fine. Yeah. I like this. I've seen this multiple times where you think toffee, you think that, but then yeah. there's actually ones that are thicker. No, we used to get this from um, yeah. uh, the Mexican restaurant in my hometown. Had oh, these kind of things, and I loved them. It's an oat bar with toffee. Hmm. One thing people in the U.S. and the U.K. have in common, I mean, lots of things, but whatever. <laughs> right. Their love of flapjacks. Well, sort of. You probably think of flapjacks as another word for as pancakes, but in the U.K., there's something completely different. Their flapjacks are made with oats, butter, brown sugar, and syrup, spread in tray tray, baked, cut into bars, and sometimes, if you're lucky, slathered with soft toffee. Sounds like we have a new kind of flapjack to start loving. I mean, that sounds good, man. Yeah. Claire says the reason that banana flavor tastes so artificial is that the flavor is of the gross Michael. Uh, that's now extinct, and now we eat the Cavendish banana. Mm. So it's like what bananas used to taste like? That's a really interesting little thing. I'm going to take a picture of your toffee hammer. Yeah, do that. Uh, yeah. Post it in Slack. I can post it here. Or I can show it here. Drop me a DM on Slack. Dean Martin, hello from West Virginia. Hey, West Virginia. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's... Can you just take a piece of this? Or? In Cambodia, oh, there's a bunch... Their, their bananas look nothing like ours. And they have a lot of different kinds of bananas. So yeah. it's... It really raised my Dink. awareness of bananas and how different they can be. This is not like what I used to get to Mexican place. This is delicious. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. For me, it's fine. It's like um, another piece. Then I'll let you have the rest. Okay, that I'm not gonna. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. The toffee on the top is pretty good. Mhm. Mm I think that toffee had a little bit more like maple syrup or something in it. I think it would be amazing. Mm, okay. But oh, not bad. A Tumblr post about how Captain America would be weirded out by bananas? He probably would be. Yeah. All right. Mm. That's yeah, good. not bad. All right. Mm. Now all we have left is um, a little bag of weird stuff. I love the yum bag. Well. Uh, the, you know the phrase, good things come in small packages? The yum bag is that embodied. So there's just like little things that are... Well, found. we have little candies in here. We have... Fizzy orange and champagne shoes and fizzy lemon hard candy. Hammer picture now on Slack, he says. Mm, Where did you put it? Did I miss it in podcasts? Yeah, where'd you put it, man? Yeah, I don't see it. So, oh wait, in food? It's in food. Oh. There we go. Oh. That's kind of awesome. Let me grab a, oh, what if I do this? Nothing. <laughs> Got a Slack thing, a window. It's one of those things where you forget when you have to set things up again. 
Okay. All right. That worked out well. There you go. That's Toffee fun. hammer. I mean, as promised. It, and it says, to, I'm glad that it tells you what uh -huh. it is. Yeah. I don't want to have any, uh, you know, mistakes. I want to know. That's yeah. very cool. Toffee hammer. Yeah. I want to have toffee enough that I have a hammer for it. <laughs> right? That you have a tool. All right. There are four things here. Okay. Which well, two of prefer? each, actually. Yep. Um, there's two and there's a hard candy. Let's do the chewy one first. Okay. Those are Bristow's Bucks Fizz Chews. Fizz Chew? Yeah. There's nowhere better to grab a drink than in London. Why? Well, it's home to 1,327 bars, the most of any city in the world. <laughs> it's also where the Bucks Fizz, a beloved cocktail made from two parts champagne and one part orange juice, was invented in 1921, four years before the mimosa in Paris. When it comes to this chewy Buck Fizz inspired candy, don't worry if you're not over 21 because in the UK drinking age is 18, but because this <laughs> chew contains zero bubbly, only 100% citrusy goodness. Hmm. That's disappointing. Claire asked if anybody ever got Christmas pigs. You had to break them with a hammer like that. You ever get a Christmas pig? Nope, me either. I'm not familiar with the Christmas and pig. And I think when they say the drinking age is, is 18, I think it's 18. You know, my guess. I mean, I can't. Yeah, not. Well, I don't know. Mmm. I like this. I do, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. This is the this is the pig she was talking about. That's weird. Oh, mm -hmm. peppermint pig, huh? Mm-mm. No. I'm also, like, sensitive to peppermint oil, so... That's weird. I've never seen it. Yeah, no, it's totally weird. Yeah. It's a little off-putting. You should be off-putting. I know. Because <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> All right, what's the last one? This looks like a pretty pretty innocuous... Bristow's Sherbet Lemons. Or Sherbet. Sherbets. Yeah, you already know what Sherbet is. An especially colorful, fruity, ice cream-like dessert. But as this section teases, there is a different meaning in the UK. Their sherbet is the name of a fizzy powder made, found inside many tangy candies, such as these zingy lemons. Huh. One more thing, in the UK, you might hear a local ask his mate if he wants to hit the pub for a sherbet. That's because sherbet is also slang for beer, which coincidentally <laughs> brings us to our next few yums. So you get either fizzy powder, beer, or ice cream. Yep. All right. I'll put yours right oh, there. Thank you. Can't really break these. No. Nope. I'm looking forward to it. I like a nice lemony thing. Mm. Doesn't smell it's like a anything. large piece of candy. About the size of like um, like candy they would throw out at parades or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they still do that or not. I haven't been to a parade in a while. <laughs> they won't for a while either. Mm. Some parts of Europe drinking age is 16 for beer and wine. Yeah, I've heard that. I, even though I think it's 16. If I know anything about anything, which is nothing. <laughs> this is fine. It's like a Brox. Yeah. I mean, that's not that's not a bad thing. I like Brox, too. People in the U.S. will know what I'm talking about. But. Dumbledore's password? Oh, it's Sherbert? <laughs> mm. no, that's a fun mm -hmm. fact. All right. That was fun. What would you think? No, I think it was good. This had the most things that I did not like out of all of them. True. Well, Philippines had a couple of the coconut yeah, there were, things. There were three of these things you didn't like. Yeah. I expected to like all of these things, too. Like, mm. I was like, oh, it's the UK. Easily going to be the thing I like the most. Yeah. Surprising. I mean, I I like that there are things that taste different that I'm like, I don't like this. That's fine. The sherbet will be on the inside. Oh, so when we get into the middle, it's going to be the fizzy powder stuff? Oh. Mm. I haven't gotten there yet. Nope. Hey, are you going to do some trivia? Yeah, I want to do some trivia. What are you guys? Some trivia time? I'll read it if you want. Zapperman, do don't give out the answers if you know <laughs> since you live there. Uh-huh. Mm. I like it. I think it's good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, number one. Huh? Trivia challenge. Test your knowledge of the United Kingdom. Uh, Northumberland, England is home to A, the world's deadliest garden, B, the world's first, first fish and chips recipe, C, the world's oldest cemetery, or D, the world's biggest oyster. So we've got Deadly Garden, 
first fish and chips recipe, oldest cemetery, or biggest oyster? He can still get them wrong. That's true. <laughs> it's good to have faith and like confidence in yourself there. I was going to go with B, fish and chips. You want for the first fish and chips recipe? I mean, that seems a little too on the nose, though. Ooh. Hmm. I'm also happy last day of this round of Learn League. Wow, is this not the last couple of weeks? <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Although I'm going to miss my Learn League. but Yeah, it's multiple choice. Um, cover up the answers here. Legadis. Deadliest Garden. First Fish and Chips. Oldest Cemetery. Biggest Oh, I got a fizzy. Oh, yeah? I bit into it. Good fizzy. No. Um, we got oyster, we got an A, we got a garden, we got oysters. Uh, so two gardens and two oysters. Even split. Three three garden. What'd you say? Fish First fish and chips. Wow. Oh. <laughs> says he's guessing oysters, not fish and chips. Interesting. No. I'm going to hope it's... By the way, I haven't looked at the answers. I'm going to hope it's the deadliest garden, but... I mean, that's supposed to be in Australia. Oh, that might be true. Mm -hmm, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, um, it can't be the oldest cemetery. That's got to be in Africa somewhere, right? You think? I'm going with you. I'm going fish and chips. I got here. Oyster. Garden, garden, oyster, oyster. E. <laughs> e. There you go. And David takes the D. They can be all of the above. They got it someone. Oh, this, I hope not. It's A, the world's deadliest garden. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. I was about to tell you. When a local duke planted the Alnwick Garden in 1750, geez, he likely never imagined to be transformed into something lethal. But in 2005, Duchess Jane Percy added the deadliest plants she could find from nightshade to hemlock and opened it to visitors who can't taste, touch, or even smell the plants. Hmm. Neat. Uh, deadliest garden is in the oh is in the UK. I can't remember where it is. That's where it is. Yeah. I know there's a poison plant garden in the UK. That's the one. A lot of Roman ruins up there. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Garden. I was hoping it was the garden, but. Yeah. Cool. North Umberland. Northumberland. Sounds cool. All right. Number two. Okay. Which of the following is the name of a real UK town? All right. This one <laughs> sounds awesome. Dull Scotland. D-U-L-L. -L. Good God. Something in Wales with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Lanfair Pool, Gwil, 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 I'm going to go, go, Gok, Wales. I'm going to go with that one because it's, it's got to be true. C, Boggy Bottom, England. Or D, Moneymore, Northern Ireland. Here's the, here's number two. <laughs> B is the one to, uh, to pay attention to. <laughs> yeah. I will give a dollar to any of you that can, like, send me a video of you saying that word. <laughs> go, go, goach. <laughs> it's that yeah. one in Wales. B. Yeah. It's that one. It's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, or it could be, like, they changed a letter or two in there and I can't do Welsh. So it could be nothing. Um, Wales. The longest town name. It's pretty long. More for B. Everybody's on my side. What do you think, God? I think so, too. Hey, you got nose. I got nose. Yeah. I have two noses. Nice. The answer is D. What is it? Oh, never mind. That's a totally different one. Uh, <laughs> one of them will be a D. Uh, they got us. It's all of the above. Uh, Clearly, the UK knows how to get creative with its town names. And if you can believe it, forget that word. It's actually the second longest one word town name in the world behind holy sh holy smokes this place in new zealand this is how long this is how long the name is it Has goes to... from here all the way down here it's almost two lines of one name yeah. Has to i can't Maori. well yeah <laughs> or some real cruel colonial b you have a pick of that nice this is all the above it was B, not the real name of the twin. The, the Victorians wanted the tourist section. They changed it. Oh, Tom Scott has a video about the... Oh, really? <laughs> the Victorians wanted a tourist attraction. That's... That's crazy. Wow. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> Number three. Okay. 
What is the which of the following is the national animal of Scotland? The Shetland pony, the dragon, the gray seal, or the unicorn? Your choices for national animal of Scotland. All of the above. <laughs> is Shetland pony, dragon. I would think the Welsh would have a dragon, not the not mm. Skyline. Okay. Uh, I mean, the Welsh dragon is right there. Look at that. That's true. Yeah. Um, the gray seal or the unicorn? Hmm. <laughs> Sharisha's D, the unicorn. Mm. Becky also says D. Gadgetstaff says A, the Shetland Pony, which I think is a, a red herring. I think it is too, because you're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So it can be that one, because I think it makes sense. Becky, Beth, and Sharish all say the unicorn. I'm going to go with them. What's C? C is the gray seal. I'll go with gray seal. Okay. I don't think it's right, but I'll go with it. Is that a coat of arms? Oh, well, okay. D, yeah. The Scotsmen love their legends so much their national animal is a unicorn. The creature was a symbol of power in Celtic myth and was adopted into the Scottish coat of arms in the 12th century. Makes you wish your national animal was a bit more magical, huh? P.S. Dragon was close. It's the national animal of Wales. There you go. Yeah. All right. Awesome. The Loch Ness Monster. Yep. Which of the following is a real event in Wales? I got to the fizzy stuff. I did, okay. It's nothing intense. I expected like no. pop rocks, but. No, no. Just kind of interesting. All right. A. Human versus horse marathons. Okay. Adult versus child spelling bees. I hope that's it. I hope it's that one. Gotta stay hydrated, Audrey. Mm -hmm. uh, C. Cat versus dog beauty pageants. Yeah. Or D, seal versus teen swimming races. I've changed my mind. I hope it's seals versus teens. <laughs> I want to see a seal just, like, own a 14-year-old in the pool. <laughs> Scraggles really likes these. So do I. What is it? That. The, oh, the, the top. Flap the nice. flapjacks. I have not given her very much. Just little crumbs. All right, so what do we think? Uh, human versus horse marathon. C. Adult versus child spelling bee. Cat versus dog beauty pageant. Oh, yeah, C. Or seal v teen swimming races. Well spelled, well spelling, no joke, lol. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's adult versus child spelling bees, but it's all names of Welsh things. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'll go with A, human versus horse marathon. That's savage. Uh, I thought I... the man versus horse, horse races in the Rockies. Oof. That's, Wow. I'm not going to race a horse. No, no one should race a horse. What? No. You can't win a horse. I mean, I mean, against a horse. Unless, like, they just let him go and they just stop. Oh, they just see if any of them cross the finish line eventually? Yeah, I mean. It's true. If, what's their incentive? <clears throat> if you're not on one, I don't know. That Hot fillies. <laughs> oh, yeah, is a filly a... Uh, no, filly's a... A young horse. What's a female horse? I don't remember. I don't know. Mares. Hot mares. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, over long distance, humans are slower than horses. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also over short distances. Just also constant. medium distances. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Number four. Uh, oh, it's A. Human versus horse marathon. In wow. 1980, a, pum, a pub owner, Gordon Green, overheard two patrons discussing whether a man could beat a horse in a long distance race. Long distance race. Naturally, he decided to put the idea to a test, organizing annual horse versus human marathons. Um, in the 40 years it's been held, humans have managed to best the horses twice. Again, I want to know those two instances. What happened? Where the horse is just like. I got distracted. There's food. I'm just going to go graze for a while. I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, oh, Claire changed. <laughs> she, she read it wrong. Over long distances, humans are faster than horses. That seems weird. And a marathon isn't really that long. It's only 27 miles. I feel like a horse could keep up like a canter or something. I mean, uh, some yeah, that's the point. At least back kinda... in the day, they were, they were supposed to go long apparently distances. It's, apparently it's 38 to right. 2, so, mm -hmm. you know. Horses still win. Interesting. Crazy. I would think they would never... 
Horses are not really endurance critters. Huh. Huh. I mean, I guess for speed. It shows what I know about yeah. horses. I know nothing about horses, yeah. really. All right, number five. Six blanks are kept in the Tower of London at all times. Candles, trumpets, ravens, or bowling balls? Ravens. Man's the only distance uh, animal to keep running over a long distance, even if slower. I feel like dogs and stuff, too. Like, dogs can kind of run forever, isn't there? That their deal? Like, wolves and stuff? They don't really ever stop. Well, it Sharks. On how, I mean, are they trying to go for speed? I mm. mean, that's the thing. Mm. If you're trying to go as fast as you can, that's different. I know most animals can actually outrun me in almost any distance. Same. <laughs> we have a couple ravens. Several ravens. I'm hoping <laughs> packs of hula hoops. <laughs> Four-legged animals cannot pant and run at the same time like humans can. They can't pant and run at the. S that seems, that seems fishy. But all right, um, cannons was that a choice? No, uh, can't bowling balls was, candles, mm -hmm. trumpets, ravens, and bowling balls. What do you think? Ravens. I think it's ravens too, and it actually is ravens. Uh, King Charles II believes six ravens must reside in the tower, or else it would crumble. His superstition stuck. Today, the tower is occupied by Jubilee, Harris, Grip, Rocky, Aaron, Poppy, and Merlina, a seventh raisin, ra raven kept just in case. There used to be a raven named George, but he was retired to Wales after attacking TV antennas. No, we're not joking. <laughs> I wonder, is the seventh kept there or someplace else? Oh, you got to keep it there just in case. Really? Yeah, then I think there's so. seven. That's not what that is. I would think that they have to have it's someplace else because then there'd be seven even if you want to call that seventh the backup but it's not yeah well i mean you have to have at least six you're saying oh just a, not six but at least six is that what it is uh, i believe six must reside well i mean if if seven ravens are there then you also have six ravens well, i don't know if yeah. it's a, an at least thing or no. i mean it's a superstition so who cares? Well, yeah <laughs> none of it's not supposed to be logical it's true yeah Designated Survivor Very, Raven. Yeah. That's right. The um, Jack Bauer of Ravens. Yeah. All right. Number six. What is Big Ben? A clock tower, a clock, a bell, or a mispronunciation of pig pen? A clock, a clock tower, or a bell? Probably a clock tower. It's tall. I think it, I'm going to go with bell because that's what rings. It has a clock on a it. Clock yeah. I mean, it is a tower. I don't know. A clock tower... To clock a bell or a mispronunciation of pig. There's no way it's pig pen. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, hit YouTube for Bill Callahan videos. The main tour guide, beef eater, warden of the Tower of London. Very funny. That's awesome. It's the bell properly. Is that that kind of makes sense to me too that it would be the bell, but the ravens. Oh, we got a picture of the ravens. Oh. Maybe. Baby ravens. Baby ravens. Yeah, follow that link that uh, Claire put up. You can see ravens. Bell, 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 bell. I guess it's bell. bell. I mean, maybe. Number six. C. It's so the bell. Is, so it just happens to have a clock on it? Well, I think, like, the tower is, like, that's a clock tower. But the thing you hear is Big Ben, is the bell. Is, the bell is the Big Ben. I, I just put the whole thing together as yeah. that. I think probably, like, yeah. Like, the church has the bells, but it's still the church. You know what I mean? That's yeah. where I was getting confused. Because, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the name Big Ben actually refers to the 15-ton bell. It's a big bell. There you go. Big Ben the bell that rings at the top of this tower, not the tower itself. So how did this misconception come about? Well, Big Ben is a super, super catchy name. And until 2012, the tower was actually just known by the name Clock Tower. Oh. You can see why people called it Big Ben instead. They just never oh. bothered to call it anything. Oh. Well, there, there you, you go. go. Oh, I actually have Big Ben right there you in can. Lego form. Yep. Yep. I should have. I should have known. I mean, actually, the bell's not in there. I have a. It is. I have the clock tower. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the bell. The tower is named Elizabeth Tower in 2012. Well, look at Just that. Just then, huh? Hey, kids. Big Ben Parliament. Yep. Parliament Funkadelic. Uh, number seven. Which of these words was invented by Shakespeare? It's. I hope it's not another all of the above. Um. Wicked, dude, rubbish, or swagger. Wicked, dude, rubbish, swagger. What do you think? I think it's going to be swagger. 
I think it's going to be Swagger. But Wicked Dude, Rubbish, and Swagger are your... Rubbish, choices. I think, is too... Like this, like the red hair. It, it's, you know... Hmm. Sounds British to Americans? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a dude. No, I don't think it's... Swagger's a good choice. I might go with Swagger. I think dude and Swagger are, like, the best choices because if you're going to make up words, like, you don't want to make up, like, proper words, like, rubbish. Like, yeah. there's a pile of rubbish over there. It's trash. Whereas, like, Swagger, it's like a rinsable spoon or something. Like, you just mm -hmm. make up adjectives. I think it might be D, but just to be different, I'll say wicked. <laughs> Becky wants to, uh... Uh, all of the above it. That's not, you know. Like, if it's all of the above, I'm going to be disappointed that they did that, but. Tw three times in the last yeah. two months. Swagger, Midsummer Night's Dream. That uh, makes sense to me. Well, there, see, people actually yeah. know things. It is. It's Swagger. And it's from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Well done. So the 1595 play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, was the first time the word swagger, meaning to strut with a defiant air, was used. 400 years later, and the term is repopularized by Jay Z. Oh, come on. Oh, this yeah. time is a noun meaning bold self assurance and style. Yeah, strutting for, with a defiant air. So, does this mean Shakespeare had swagger? Yes. Yeah. Well, potentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, I. I come on now. Attributing the, like, the research yeah. of swagger to Jay Z. I wanted. Everyone knew swagger before. Yeah, I like Jay Z and all, but. Yeah. Come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on, Universal come on. Yums. Uh, number eight, last one. Northern Irishman Hans Sloane is credited with, credited with the invention of. So a Northern Irishman invented A. Caramel apples. B. Chocolate milk. C. Pumpkin spice. He's just trying to get the ladies. Yeah. The PSL. Uh, <laughs> the basic ladies. Or D. Peanut butter. Well, we know it's not peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. It's definitely not that. Dandy swagger in the 1920s. Dude, everybody swagger. Yeah. Swagger all the time. Gotta have swagger. So, caramel apples, chocolate milk, pumpkin spice, or peanut butter? Chocolate milk. Yeah? No idea. But, yeah. I don't... Yeah. I'm gonna go with caramel apples. Like, that seems like an Irish what? thing to me. It's caramel apple. C-A-R-A-M-E-L. Caramel. I don't know about that. Caramel apple. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's crazy. Scraggles did not like that either. She made a little pukey sound. <laughs> I think it's because you gave her too much toffee. She had, like, crumbs. All right, we got two people going with A for uh, caramel apples. History of dandies is rather interesting. Cool. What about what Irishmen invent, though? Mm. All right. A lot of people are going with caramel apples with me. You're going for chocolate milk? Yep. Solid choice. It's wrong. No, it's right. It's chocolate what? milk. In 1687, holy smokes, uh, Sloan, a student in the UK's National Academy of Science in 1687, well, yeah, in, <laughs> this is bad copy, traveled yeah. to Jamaica. As the story goes, he noticed locals drink, uh, drank cacao with water, which made him nauseous. <laughs> He mixed it with milk instead, not only inventing chocolate milk, but setting the setting up the invention of milk chocolate. Thank you, Hans. Thank you. Right? Ooh. Cacao with water. I mean, you know. I mean. I think Sloan's is a brand of drinking chocolate. I, I mean. Well. I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah? Well, there you go. I got like two right. Hey, me too. Did I even get two right? Oh, yeah. Um. I mean, technically we all got two right. Oh, what's the recipe for the month? Um, it's the first page, I think. Cottage pie, a UK classic, okay. is the uh, recipe of the month. Um, it's not a shepherd's pie, because shepherd's pie has lamb. Yeah. Fair. Um, oh, this is actually kind of what we make, because we don't make it with lamb, because yeah, gross. Uh, this is mashed potatoes, ground beef, onion, carrots, garlic... Flour, tomato paste, beef stock, Worcestershire sauce, mm -hmm. and thyme. Yeah, that's pretty much. Let's. We should make that like today. <laughs> we do have. I have all those all things. All those things. Let's yeah. make this today. Let's see. That's it. Cottage pie. Done. Points for odd, indeed. Yep. Cottage pie. Which I dig. Yeah. I'm a big fan. This is all. This is all this stuff. All right. Cool. Well. 
Uh, we need to do the ranking the... thing. Here's the ranking. Oh. All right. There's the yum shop. You can get different things, apparently. Cool. Oh, they have um, Boy Boing or Boy Boing. Your Boy Boing. So it says. Nice. So if you too. guys like Boy Boing, go to the yum shop. Yeah. All right. Which thing do you think was uh, the best out of the yums? How well do you know the UK hits? You didn't. I know them like not at all. Well, people <laughs> might know. All right. I think I... you just. I think you're just trying to get out of uh, telling me which thing you like the best. Like the toffee flapjacks the best. I like the um, the app the orange chew as well. Hmm. I think I like the honey and mustard chips the best. Wow. I have another one of these That might this. be my least favorite. I get it. <gasps> mm. No, we have not made those Japanese fluffy pancakes, but I want to and I've seen them. And we do love uh, fluffy pancakes. I have no idea what either of you are talking about. Oh. Well. <laughs> For me, it's a toss up between the two chips. Is there the worst? Because the two chips. Pick one of those. Cool. There's not a worst. So what? Oh, you... draw the number of... <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> You're supposed to draw the number of columns you need for the number of tasters. And then put a happy face, a meh face, or an unhappy face for delicious, excellent, wow, okay, or I did not need this in my life. Ah, uh, well... So let's see, uh, we'll do a Mike over here, do an Audrey over here. Uh, all right, so uh, for the, um, I'll give you a happy face for your toffee crisps, or your toffee flapjack thing. Yeah. Um, I'll give myself a happy face for the two chips I like. I keep changing up the system every time, and it's, uh, it's hard to keep up with. Uh, how do you feel about the, uh, the twisty lemon thing? That's good. Yeah, I liked it. I'm going to give you an unhappy face for the chips. Uh, you liked it? Would you give it a, a happy face or a meh? Happy face. Happy face? Oh, yeah, okay. Feels good. How about for the uh, the orange thing, this this guy? I like this a lot. Yeah, I did happy too. Happy face. And that also gets a happy face. Um, how about this thing? Did not. Like Do not like. Yeah. These, are, these are... I want, I expected to like them. Yeah, you did. You're really talking it up. Uh, the light and crusty shortbread. I liked it. I, I don't know if it deserved a happy face per se. I a mean, meh it face? It was, not, oh, it was good. I'll give it a meh. It was fine. Um, this banana toffee stuff? Meh. Unhappy face. Oh, a meh? Yeah. For what it is, I mean, it's it okay. All right, I liked it. All right, there you go. All right, what's this? Um... I'm going to give this oat pancake thing a meh. It's fine. All right, there are our final rankings. Our final impressions of yep. the things. So how well do you know <laughs> UK hits? Think you know these iconic lyrics from across the pond? Time to find out. Then find these hits and more on our tunes playlist at universalyums.com slash tunes or by searching universally yums on Spotify. Number one. David Bowie's Heroes. We can be heroes just for one blank, blank, blank. One more day? That's two, not blank, blank, blank. We can be heroes if we try hard. Anyone know? Because I actually don't. <laughs> Say it again. We can be heroes just for one blank, blank, blank. Oh. We can be heroes just for one. Yeah, it's three blanks. Um, okay, never mind. Know. It's just one word, and oh. it's day. Oh. That's three there's, letters. There's different. Oh, is it letter? Oh, I'm stupid. I thought it was day two. Only three blanks though. Yeah. All right. Number two is Oasis Wonderwall. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a... Clue. Doubt. 
Oh, never had a doubt? Doubt. No. Oh, that's clue. Sorry, I actually knew that that one. Got it. Okay, I know this one too. Tom Jones, it's not unusual. Tom Jones, it's not unusual to be playing by anyone. Loved. Yeah. Yep. And actually, you have stuff in your beard. There you go. A little chip crumb. Yep. Number four is Adele's Someone Like You. Even I will not attempt to do Adele. Oh, you won't, huh? Well. Wow. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes... It blank instead. Five letters. Sometimes it... Say it again? Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it blanks instead. The Adele really came through when you saying that last Thank word. Thank you. I appreciate that. I honestly don't know, actually. Sometimes it, I feel like I know that song, but I, I don't know. Nope. We got nothing. That's the whole purpose of a beard. How <laughs> to catch crumbs? Yeah. Well, the answer okay. is hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Led Zeppelin's immigrant song. Such a good song. It has words? Well, yeah. I thought it was just that one uh, yodel or whatever. Yeah, I don't really remember War the words <laughs> for it, though. I love the song, but I don't, yeah. We come from the land of the ice and snow, mm. from the midnight sun where the hot springs blank. Four letters. The hot springs blow. Nope. The hot springs flow? Yep. Yeah. Flow. Yep. Yeah. Now I remember that there were, there were those words. <laughs> All right, Anna, welcome. Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay. Right. I'm just a poor boy. I need no... I'm just a poor boy. I need no... <laughs> I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job of doing it. I'm just it, a so poor you... boy. Nobody loves me. I'm just a poor boy. I'm just a poor boy. I need no... <laughs> Satisfaction. No. <laughs> yep. So Becky got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One Direction. What makes you beautiful? You light up my world like nobody else. The way you get feel my hair gets me. Overwhelmed. Right now. The way you smile at the ground. It gets me, oh, wait, what is it? When you smile at the ground, you don't know that you're beautiful, something like that. Yep, it has to be overwhelmed. That was a big one. Next, the Beatles. Um, unpopular opinion, Mike doesn't really like the Beatles. No. Hot take. Or cold take. They kind of lost me with like the yellow submarine thing. I'm like... Come on. So, One Direction did yeah. not like One Direction. That's the song that I know a little bit. But, I look, I'm going to admit it. I like Harry Styles in his solo career. His styles? His, his albums that he did, check them out. They're actually good. I, I like Harry. So, yeah. but One Direction, nah, no. Okay, Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it uh, better. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ooh. I actually do like that song quite really? a lot. Really? I don't. It's not that I don't like the Beatles. It's just that like, I don't know. A lot of songs just kind of don't really do it for me. I guess. Hey Jude, I think is beautiful. I'm a big mm. fan of Hey Jude. Okay. Yeah. okay. Next one is Elton John's Tiny Dancer. Mm. Hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. Count the blank on the highway. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. I didn't know this one. I had to look it up. Hold me closer, Teddy Danza. Count, Count the, the blanks on the highway. Mona. 
Mona. <laughs> Samantha. Samantha. Kevin Samantha's on the highway. Nine letters. Nailed it. <laughs> Tony Danza. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. I don't know. What Judith Light? <laughs> the answer is headlights. Huh. I mean, now that you say, I mean, yeah. Number 10 is Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. Take me into your loving arms. Blank me under the th light of a thousand stars. It's a family channel. Well, um, I need this me. one too. No. Smooch me. Yep, it is kiss. Well, it's not smooch, but yes. Number 11, Spice Girls Wannabe. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my... Friends. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Number 12. The Who's, hmm. Baba O'Reilly. Okay. Don't cry, don't raise your eye, it's only teenage blank. Angst. No. <laughs> it's only teenage. Mm -hmm. Teenaged. Zig -zig Ninja Turtles? No. Zig Zig Ah. <laughs> Teenage Friends is what Anna says. <laughs> Teenage oh, Wait. Oh. Nine letters. It is Wasteland. Good hmm. job, Becky. It's Teenage uh, Tiny Dancers. Yep. Teenage Tony Danza. <laughs> Tony Danza fits. From the page, from the pen to the page to the screen, it actually has a little fountain pen up here. Well, all right, good. They have those in the UK. They do. Connect the author in column one to their book in column two. No, that's too many things. Then for this match kind of the deal. book in the column two to the character from that book in column three. Finally, match that character to the UK actor who played them on screen in column four. So that would be a fun game. I think that sounds like a fun game, but it's bad for you live can streaming. You can show it, and people can. Pause it at you know go back if they want to. You can put a little thing like oh at whatever you can play the game. Or yeah. or we can do it together. Do they have the answers below it? Probably. I need to stand up. I think. Oh, I have to change that chat, too? Uh-oh. Annoying. No, can't read it. Oh. No. 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 No, not going to work out. It's too complicated for this. Is Tolkien on there? I don't know. Um, uh, there is a Tolkien. Oh, okay. Uh, it's the Lord of the Rings. It, this is actually pretty easy, for, especially for Tolkien. Gandalf. Who played Gandalf? Who played Gandalf? Audrey. Who? Oh, Ian McClellan. I know. I did. It was Ian. I, yeah. Yep. Totally was. Yep. Yep. Uh, in case there are any uh, Man City fans on here waiting for lyric com completion on Ferry Across the Mersey, Mersey, or you'll never walk alone. Yep, no. <laughs> you saw Hermione Granger? Uh, yep, there's a Her Hermione Granger. That's on there. Who played Hermione Granger, Audrey? I was going to ask you the same thing. No. Oh. Where are you? Yep. So you don't know. Emma. It is definitely Emma Watson. You know, I think Emma Watson's real cute, so Who doesn't? I'm not going to forget about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, who do you want to have for an upcoming yums? Netherlands, Italy, or Germany? Um, I kind of want German yums. I was going to say either Netherlands or Germany. Italy, I just feel like we get a lot of Italian things because there's a lot of Italian heritage here. 
A lot of Germans, too. But... There are a lot. That's true. Maybe the Germans just be all sausage, and it would just have to be a Mike eats stuff on camera while you sit there and make that face. I mean, I have a lot of German ancestry on both sides of my family, so I, I'm a little un embarrassing for my heritage, I believe. But Like avoiding the, the sausages? Yeah. Yeah. Well. And I don't drink beer. Mm. It's like, I mean, man, it's like I'm not even German. It's like you're not even German. It's true. That's true. But, yep. No, I think another one. Oh yeah, gas German. station. That's the next thing. <laughs> he says that's the next box. <laughs> gas station box. <laughs> I think that would be fun. We need to go to the gas station. Your husband has a crush on Emma Watson. Can't blame him. <sighs> yeah. No. I, I, me too. She's she's awesome. Yeah. Smart. Beautiful. Uh -huh. mm. I mean, yeah. Mm. Talented. Talent. Mm. Sure. Rich. Yeah. All, what doesn't she have yeah. going for her? Yeah. Well. All right, folks. That was Thanks fun. very much. Thanks for hanging out. It was yeah. fun. You like some sauerkraut? I'm not the biggest sauerkraut fan, mm -hmm. but I, I get it. No. All right, folks. Thanks for hanging out while we ate yums and for Audrey some yucks. There's a few yucks, but that's good. If you're gonna have yums, you gotta have a few yucks. You know, we're just like yeah. uh, this one is the yucks. Neither of us. We're just gonna throw this away, right? Uh, maybe I'll bring it to work and see if anyone likes it. Yeah. All right. Bring it to work. We get a report from the uh, the Franklin Kristoff crew to see if any of them can. Uh... Oh, that's the thing. Someone's gonna try and eat it. That's for sure. That's <laughs> if you leave a food there and it's sort of a fair game thing. For sure, people. Someone's gonna try it. Yeah. Somebody that's a good will. Thing. Yeah. All right, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Glad this worked. Uh, human rights advocate. Yeah. No, yeah, she's great. She is. Yeah, no yeah. problem with her. Um, Hopefully, so... we'll see you tomorrow. We have a few pens. Oh yeah, we got a couple of pens this week. Um, also, I have I have a cart that I haven't I haven't bought yet. Oh, of yeah. not pen stuff. Of not a pen stuff. So it is. Where are you going right now, Mike? Nowhere. And what have you bought the most of? Pens, yeah. likely. Well. Maybe uh, not inks. Wait, inks. I bought the most inks actually by number because I got that diplomat that came with ten free inks. Inks. Yeah, nice to see you too, Anna. Yeah. Uh, we hope to see you all tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we'll be here talking about pens and inks and paper. Gas and... station food. Oh, yeah, we'll try a couple of gas station foods too, because, hey, why not? It's fun eating on camera. Everybody loves it when you eat on camera. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as I long as it's not being like... boozled. <laughs> People really loved when we ate that on camera. Of course they did. <laughs> Except for my mom. She's like, what's wrong with you? So, <laughs> all right, folks. We'll see y'all later. Uh, have a great afternoon. Think about what you put out in the world. Make it a better place. See you tomorrow, Mike. See you tomorrow, Audrey. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Cool. <laughs> I like that you sneak that cool in there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay.